Hey guys, well, K State beat Missouri by the score of 24 to 17. Well, guys, this game was good. Both teams played good in this game. Uh, Missouri, I have to give them credit, they played good in this game, but their mistakes killed them in this game. Uh, they made too many mistakes to win this game. Uh, K State, they uh, capitalized on Missouri's mistakes, and not and that uh, helped them in this game. So K State played good and Missouri played good, like I said. But K State was the better team in this game. So uh, K State moved to uh, five and zero now in, on the season, while Missouri falls to two and three. So, but Missouri uh, Missouri still a good team. So. Uh, this is the first 5-0 start for K-State since the 2000 season, so, uh, we're starting off this season good, so. Uh, what else can I say about this game? Like I said, both teams played good in this game. Uh, uh, there are only two turnovers in this game. One for each team, and both were interceptions. So uh, that's a good thing that that only one turn two turnovers in the game. So that's a good good thing. So uh, uh, Missouri's only turnover came on the very first play of the game. Uh, Missouri's quarterback uh, James Franklin kind of uh, threw it to the wrong person. Uh, he threw it to Ty Zimmerman, I think, uh, and uh, Ty Zimmerman kind of stepped in front of James Franklin and intercepted him and took it to a very good field position for K State. So that's uh, I think I think that kind of rattled Missouri. I think so. Uh, that's a bad thing for Missouri. So. But a good thing for us, so uh, that's the only turnover for Missouri, which is on the very first play of the for game, very first play of the game for that for Missouri. So that's a bad thing for them. So, but a good thing for us. So uh, that's the only that's the one of the biggest highlights for K State defense. So. Uh, good thing for us, but bad thing for bad thing for Missouri. So uh, the penalties we were uh, the penalties were okay. Uh, Missouri had seven for 49 yards, while we had three for 13 yards. So uh, that's a good thing for us. So uh, what else can I say about this game? Uh, the penalties weren't a big factor. The Missouri uh, turnover kind of costed them. Uh, kind of costed them the game, kind of, and I think rattled them. But uh, that's a highlight of the game, I think. Uh, uh, my, I had three keys for the for a K-State victory and uh, they were uh, I, I'll, I'll go over my keys for the uh, three keys for victory for K-State uh, key one is play great and balanced offense I have to give them a B- in that uh, uh, Colin Klein had most of the yards most of the yards in, for the offense but I but we still uh, managed to spread up the ball out more, kind of more evenly. But uh, Colin Klein still had most of the offensive yards, so uh, so I have to give Key One uh, B minus. So Key Two is uh, play great defense, and I think they did. But we can kind of give up, uh, not uh, give up. Uh, uh, we gave up two easy touchdowns in the fourth quarter, I think. But play, we played great defense most of the game, so I have to give 
K2 uh, B plus. So uh, key three uh, was control the tempo of the game, and I think we really did that. So I have to give them an A in that. So uh, so that was key three. So those are my key three keys to victory for K State in this game. So uh, on and I'm. What else do I say about this game? Well, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm glad I actually got my prediction wrong for this game. So I'm really glad I did get my prediction wrong. So, uh, uh, Colin Klein had one heck of a game. He was 11 for 16 on passing. Uh, it had 112 yards passing with no passing touchdown and one interception. Well, he had 24 carries uh, for 45 rushing yards and three touch rushing touchdowns. So uh, he had a good day. Uh, John Hubert had 26 carries for 126 rushing yards and no touch rushing touchdowns. So he had a good day too. Uh, James Franklin, uh, Missouri's quarterback, was 19 for 35. Uh, 214 yards, passing yards, and had no touchdown, passing touchdowns, and one interception, which was his, which was on his very first play of the game. So he had 11 carries for 46 rushing yards and one touch, rushing touchdown. Uh, Henry Ho Josie, I think, how they say it. Uh, Henry, if I'm wrong, you can comment below, but I think it's Henry Josie. So, uh, he had 12 carries for 55 yards, rushing yards, and one rushing touchdown. So, those are the good play, uh, impact players for Missouri. Uh, uh, my gradings, my gradings of the units, I'll, I had to give the offense a B minus. Uh, they were good, but not spectacular. So, I have to give them a B minus. Defense. They were good, really, really good until the the kind of the fourth quarter, and that which they gave up uh, 14 points. So, but most of the game they were good. So, I had to give them a a, a B plus. So, uh, or uh, scratch that. I had to give them an A. So, I changed my grade to an A. So. So I give the defense an A instead of a B plus. So uh, my grading for the defense is an A. So special teams, I have to give them an A. Uh, the special teams were good, so I give them an A as well. Coaching, I have to give the coaching staff a B. A B. Uh, they get, did call good plays for most. They called good plays most of the game. They coached these guys really well, but here and there they kind of uh, uh, did some things they probably shouldn't have, but they were good enough, so I would give the coaching staff a B. So My MVP for the game is Colin Klein. Uh, he led to another led us to another victory in this game. So my MVP for this game what will be Colin Klein. So he's a good player. So uh, that's about it for me. So go state and Ema.